Hey guys, I really have an opportunity to do this when we get BGS stuff back, but while I'm waiting for a uh, Panini One filler to sell out, um, I got uh, we finally got some submissions back from February 2021, total of 22 cards. Let's open this thing up, show this thing off to you guys. These cards will be uh, going out to you um, this week. If um, I'm looking to see the names on our list here. I think most I think most of our most of our recipients on these are all domestic customers, so it'll be going out this coming Friday. Well, like I said, uh, the Panini One boxes for PYT two are specifically marked. So that's a break that that's a break that I have to get in before I sign off. Otherwise you guys won't be able to do Panini one, three, and four because number two is gonna hold it all up. So There were a couple that I did see the grades that I was pretty perplexed about, so I'm gonna we'll go through all of them here. Ah, come on, damn it! All right, yeah, this is one of the ones I was kind of perplexed about. I really wanted. To Look this one over. Uh, we had a um, we had a 2020 Bubble Chrome Draft Gold Refractor Auto Sammy Infante that graded an eight. And it says its surface only got a seven five. So I'm going to take I want to take a quick look at this and figure out why it was uh, only an eight. It's, and got a ten auto, which is kind of a borderline ten auto in my opinion. Um, and Steeler, this is one of Steeler fans. I'm just trying to look and see if there's something on here that I could have possibly missed before we submitted it. Or unless there's something on the back of the card, perhaps. Because sometimes, oh, I see exactly what it is. So on the back of the card, it looks like there's a little surface indentation on the back, and that really knocked the uh, the gray down significantly. I'm not even sure if I, I can. You can see it right there, on the bottom, or right right near where my thumb is. So that was one of those ones I saw. That one came back in eight. Like, why the hell did this one come back in eight? Because everything else on this looks pretty uh, solid. Edge has only got an eight, which is a little surprising. But I think that was because that surface indentation got to the edge. So that knocked down edge grade too. So that little surface indentation cost on two subgrades. So be it. All right. Uh, this one came out a lot better um, from 2020 Bowman Chrome Draft uh, Orange Auto of Ace of Lacey, 9510. A true, true gem mint, all 95 subgrades. So for the Sammy Infantes of the world, there was an Ace of Lacey right there, number 25. That was uh, Arcanishima's. Uh, let's see, a BGS 9-9, uh, Lewin Diaz, 8-5 on the corners, 9-5s everywhere else. You know, it's funny, they gave this BG, they gave this auto a 9, but I'm looking at this Infante auto, it's a 10. If I looked at these two autos, I would have thought that this one would have been a 9 auto and this one would have been a 10 auto. So that's kind of strange. Uh, that Lewin Diaz is belonging to Steelers fan as well. The second Lewin Diaz that you sent in got a 9.5, also a 9 auto. And again, I'm still trying to figure out why it got a 9 auto. Same as the first one. It's very weird. Only a 9 for surface, but 9.5s everywhere else. Yeah, 9 auto look cleaner, right? Uh, I got a 9510 here, a green refractor auto from 2020 Bowman's Best. Um, the Heston Kierstad here belonged to Booyah 420. Uh, most of these cards came straight from our breaks. Um, a few of them were submitted um, submitted separately, but usually most of these come from straight from breaks that we did. Uh, I had a 10 for centering on that one, 9 for surface. Uh, another 9510, uh, Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto, Brenton Doyle. Uh, Brenton Doyle was another one of Steeler fans, along with the Lou and Diaz's and the uh, Infante. Ah, this also one also brings back some memories. Got a green Torque Auto from 2020 Bowman's Best. Uh, let's see, Torque, Torque, Torque. Who had that Torque? Oh, there's also Booyahs, same as Kirstad. Nine five ten. Uh, we got a blue Refractor Auto Austin Wells from 2020 Bowman Chrome Draft. Uh, nine for surface, nine fives everywhere else. Um, 
Yasna Wells belonged to that was Buyas. Okay, there it goes along with the Lacy he got right. No, the Lacy belonged to uh, Arkanishima. Okay, so set so. No, he had the torque. All right, that was. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh, you vaguely remember these uh, from last year's Panini One Basketball 1920 dual jersey auto Zion Williamson nine out of ten. 95 percent ring and nines everywhere else. Pretty solid grade for that for these uh for that one right there. Uh, who's on was that? Uh, oh, Sergeant Skunks. This one's yours, buddy. I don't know if you're in the room right now, but uh, we finally got your Zion back, so that's gonna be going out this week. Uh, Blue Wave, um, Blue Wave, uh, Bubble Chrome Draft Auto Ace of Lacey. Uh, that one's also uh, Mr. Kunishima's. Stacking these up in appropriate stacks so I can label them here in a few moments. Showed a pair of testicles on the card. Who knows? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, from 2020 Immaculate, uh, premium rookie patch auto gold chase Claypool, 9 9. 8 5 for service. I can see why that auto got a 9. Number to 25. The chase Claypool belonged to Matthew Blankenstein. Uh, we also had a, a Hoops Premium Stock uh, Rookie Variation Splash Zion Williamson. True 9.5. Gem Mint. All 9.5 subgrades. Uh, that was um, S. Rick Albrees. Uh, and then we also had a uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Draft Purple Refractor Jared Kalenic. Another Gem Mint. 9 for centering. 9.5s elsewhere in the 250. Uh, let's see. Jared Kalenic. That one uh, belonged to uh, Booyah 420. And uh, this one got an 8.5 with a 10 auto. Uh, 2020 Donner's Optic Grade Rookie Signatures Green Mojo of uh, Randy Rosarena. Got an 8.5 per centering and 8.5 per surface, and then two 9.5s. So that's really kind of weird. You get two 8.5s, two 9.5s, and it averages out to an 8.5. I'd like somebody to explain that one to me. Once again, it's some kind of weird math that I don't get. <laughs> that was Steeler fans. Um, uh, hoops red, uh, hoops uh, premium stock prism splash red Zion Williamson. So this, this is uh, S Rex other uh, hit here. Nine uh, eight five or eight for surface nine five zero well. So I wonder where the surface issue was. A lot of times the surface issue sometimes will be on the back of the card and never be noticeable. You don't notice it until after you get the card back. I'm just looking to see if I can see anything off top here, but don't see anything easy. Either way. A nine is still a good grade on those. Uh, let's see, a 2020 um, Bowman Chrome Draft uh, Blue Wave Auto of Alaric Soleri to 159.510. Nine for centering, nine fives elsewhere. Uh, the Alaric Soleri, whose was that? Oh, Steeler fans. Okay. They also had the Arena, right? Now, right? Okay. Um, nine five ten Sparkle Auto from Bowman Chrome Draft. Isaiah Green, number to 71. True Gem Mint, nine fives all the way around on that one. It's pretty cool. Uh, that was one of Booyah's hits. And I think this is Booyah's. Is this also Booyah's? I'm sorry, I'm just going through this list here. Jordan Walker. Uh, that was Duke for Life. Okay, Jordan Walker, 9510 auto, the 2020 Bowman's Best auto. And a uh, 2020 Bowman's Best auto of Ed Howard. Uh, that was also Duke for Life. Another 9510. Nine for edges, but 95s elsewhere. Uh, I've got a purple Ed Howard auto from 2020 uh, Bowman uh, draft. Uh, nine for surface, ten for edges, nine five elsewhere. Uh, let's see the Bowman Chrome purple Ed Howard auto is Arkanishimas. Okay, goes with the two aces and a couple more here. Uh, Nick Gonzalez Bowman's best refractor auto nine five ten nine for surface, nine fives elsewhere. Uh, is that Nick Gonzalez at? There it is. Duke for Life. That was his third one. Okay. And then we had a uh, blue uh, Justin Dominguez Bowman's Best Auto 9510, a true gem mint, which is pretty nice. And uh, that one belonged to uh, Booyah 420. So that was, uh, those are all the autographs for the uh, February 2021 submission. Uh, I'm going to get these tagged for you guys, and they're going to go out on uh, Friday. Uh, just look through all the names. All the names are domestic customers. So those will all go out to you guys on Friday. Um, we still have, just to let you guys know, we still have some uh, autographs, or some autographs, some hits that we're still waiting on. We're still waiting on submissions from April. That was a total of 
how many cards was that total? That was a total of 33 cards. So we're still waiting a 33 card submission that we sent out in April 2021. So that one's going on 13 months. And then we had a very small submission of five cards that went out on the second of June, which was right around the time that Beckett suspended economy submission. So we were able to we should we were able to sneak those in just at the uh, just at the 11th hour. So once we have all those back, we'll start to um, we'll start to address the possibility of being able to submit for you guys to BGS again once we have some solid answers as far as what the turnaround times are and um, and what the uh, updated uh, uh, charges will be to um, uh, offer that service back up to you guys. Uh, thanks a bunch for your support of Firehand. We appreciate it, guys. And again, these will go out this coming Friday.